VF-703 here at the Dallas Naval Air Station was activated slightly over four months ago. And since then, they've been undergoing active training here in Dallas and in Arizona. With me this morning is Commander Frank Liberato. Frank, what are the plans at this point? We plan to leave Dallas tomorrow morning, fly out to Yuma Refuel, and plan to arrive at San Diego tomorrow about 12 noon their time. Will you be doing more training in California? Yes, we will continue the type of training we've been doing here. We will also start additional training with weapons work. We'll be getting a later version of the airplane in the very near future, and as we get those new airplanes, we will be having to check out in the advanced radar and the latest model of electronics and avionics equipment that is installed in the newer airplanes. Why do you have to trade in your present model? Well, our present models are not the uh, model that we need for a combat operation, let's put it that way. Well, where will you be going from California? I anticipate that we will be making two or three more weapons deployments uh, to Fallon, Nevada, to Yuma, Arizona, to the offshore gunnery areas around San Diego. We'll be conducting some air group operations, training with the entire air group, which consists of other fighter squadrons and other attack squadrons. And from there, I expect that we'll deploy to Southeast Asia. For combat? As far as we know right now, that those are the present plans. Mr. Jordan, what was the reason for the Dallas con uh, contingent coming back from Washington yesterday? Uh, this was through prior planning. We had only planned to stay a week. We had planned to go up for the uh, Memorial Day march, which was postponed too late for us to uh, postpone our trip. So it was already prior plan that we come back. But however, some of them did decide to stay on. But due to the fact that our bus was chartered only for so long and everything, we had to come back with the bus. Now, are you making any plans at the present time to return to Washington? Uh, I really don't know definitely. We, there might be plans made for us to go back to Washington. I'm hoping that, um, that we will get a chance to go back because the majority of them wanted to go back. They wanted to stay. Would you term your trip from here a success? Yes, I would uh, term it a success uh, in several ways. Uh, first place there were quite a few people that made the trip that otherwise definitely wouldn't have gotten a chance to even leave the city of Dallas uh, and that trip to the capital in itself was a success in that way. Uh, it was successful as far as we were able to lend our moral support and also physical support to some of the rallies that they had. Well we uh we knew that the uh, the odds were tremendously against us. Uh, uh, we were outnumbered as far as just talking about strictly Republicans. Uh, we were outnumbered about six to one, and um, there's hardly any way that you can you can really measure this except the fact we were very enlightened that uh, and enheartened about the citizens of Dallas because they more or less we we really put on this fight for them because uh, we uh, we were kind of pessimistic about the outcome, but. Uh, we waged the fight for them and, and for their rights, and evidently there, there are enough voters in Dallas that are very concerned about their rights, and they don't like these things tampered with, uh, and they don't like to see their their one chance to say what kind of taxes they're going to pay and, and what kind of state they're going to be living in. Possibly so, but I think that the legislative races will be very overshadowed by the um, national uh, choice for both president and vice president, so I don't think it will be a significant factor. Who would be your choice in the presidential nomination? Well, in Dallas County, that's very difficult to say, but I think possibly Hubert Humphrey would run the strongest of the leading contenders. Old man weather has done it again. The recent rains Dallas has been having may be fine for ducks, but they continue to plague workers hurrying to finish the final sections of the Dallas North Tollway. Officials had hoped to open up this section from Walnut Hill Lane to Royal Lane yesterday, but the rains came. 
The opening of this section is now set for some time this week. The Texas Turnpike Authority, builders and operators of the tollway are crossing their fingers and predicting the final sections from Royal Lane to the LBJ Freeway will be completed by the end of the month. Then, without encountering any traffic lights, you can breeze along the entire 9.8 mile roadway with one brief stop to pay the toll. Officials say the average daily traffic on the completed section is now in excess of 17,000 cars. When the final sections open, the figures are certain to top that mark, if the weatherman doesn't ground out the project first. Which reminds me, I forgot my raincoat. Skip Sage for Channel 8 News.